And good day. Today we're having a look at this. This is the Femi X8 SE 2020 battery, and we're going to be charging it using this particular cable here and a balanced charger. This is an IMAX B6AC, and it's pretty straightforward. You select the LiPo battery as the system you're going to be charging. You then connect up the, the battery itself, plug it in, and you plug in. Oh, I'm throwing it away. I normally go negative first and then pop in positive. We'll sit that in there. Now at this point you'll notice no activity whatsoever. And if you press start and hold it down, we just cycle through and doing a battery check. And guess what? We press enter again and away we go. Oh no we don't. And do you know why we don't? Because the battery's not actually turned on. Now if we do exactly the same thing, we turn the battery on this time. There we go. Battery's on. We'll press charge again. Hold it down for a few seconds. And this time round, you will notice that it's saying full, which is not true. So what we're going to do is turn the battery off, which it is, pull out this, reselect the battery, we've got LiPo, this time round turn the battery on. So we've got the battery on, make certain you don't connect up the two wires, otherwise you might be in for a bit of a surprise. Oops. In goes negative first, in goes positive, and we'll sit that down there. This time round, we'll press start, hold it down for a few seconds, battery check, confirm, and away we go. We are now charging. I'll shoot that down so you can have a bit of a look at it, see it working. So there you go, it is charging. So it's one of those amazing things, if you don't have your battery turned on first, it will not work. So remember that if you're using an IMAX style um, balance charger, that's the only way to get this thing to uh, fire up properly for you. So as you can see, there is a problem when you've only got one of these, you can only charge one battery at a time. So I thought I'd go and order again. You can get a, a twin battery system that will plug straight into the balance charger itself. And uh, surprise, surprise, they didn't send me a double. They sent me out a single, so I've got two singles. So just be careful when you're ordering, you'll finish up getting something that's, well, useless. So I decided, now, since I can't use that, I'll get one of these. And again, similar sort of system. Um, with one very big difference. I can now charge up to six batteries at a time. And these just simply plug into the side of your little charger down here as per normal, negative to negative, positive to positive. And we put in a little, where is it, that one there. So we put the little balance charge in, similar system. We plug in, well, we'll choose any one, we'll do the middle one, doesn't matter which one you go with. Plug that in, put it around there so we can see it. Get our battery. Same system, oh, actually before I do this, I better turn it on. Okay, plug it in. Same over here, select the LiPo, hold down, do a battery check, confirm it. And away we go. Let's see if I can move that over. Oops, where are we? Come on, focus, focus. And of course it doesn't want to. Ah, there we go, focusing slowly. <laughs> Move that around. So there you go. We're now focusing uh, correctly on the little window here. And as you can see, we're charging. So we can charge up to six batteries at a time. Wrong way. Oh gosh, I'm getting terrible with this zoom. I haven't used it for a couple of weeks. And that's the system there. So now what I've got to do is convert these cables over. 
So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to convert both the other cables over so I can use this uh, little uh, board here and make life a little bit easier for myself. Uh, I might actually just re uh, convert one of these and I'll keep a spare just in case. You never know. I should have mentioned earlier that uh, you don't really need to connect in this little balance charge but it's just something I've always done because I've got multiple batteries and I do it all the time. To convert this type of cable to this one here which is XT60 you're going to need obviously some XT60 connectors so you can pick them up pretty cheap. I picked up a pack of 10. I've had these for a while complete with little covers. You're going to need obviously some solder and you have a choice of different devices from then on you can use your hands or you can be like me I like the uh, little thing here this is the helping hand as I'm getting a bit older I find this is a bit easier to hold things for me and your choice of soldering irons well I'll push this to the side a bit you have a, again a couple of choices now I've got a fancy one which is a nice little contraption here which you can actually dial in the temperature that you want or you can use this particular one here which is just a stock standard little you know, soldering iron, nothing special, cheapest, cheapest chips as they say. That's the better unit. This is a cheap one. I'll use the cheap one just to show you that this can do the job as well. And as you can see on this plug here, there's a plus and a minus on the top here. So it shows you the polarity of the actual um, current. So you know which one to wire up. So you won't have any problems at all. You're positive and you're negative. So pretty straightforward on these. So we'll get into it and get this done. So I just simply snip these off. Um, I do have proper wire cutting pliers around somewhere, but for the life of me I can't find them at the moment. This COVID-19 thing is driving me insane. So we cut off our wires. I'm going to have to peel a little bit back of the uh, wire here, the plastic, so I'll do that. So all we're going to do is uh, heat up this little bit in here first. Knock a bit of temperature into it and then we'll give it a bit of a go with some solder fill her up I'm doing the positive side first there's lots of different ways of doing things I just kind of like doing it this way by putting a bit of solder in there first let it flow a little bit just tin it so to speak and I'll do the same with the wire over here I'll be putting a bit of solder on it as well We'll tin her up, see if we can get that in shot. I'll make a bit more up here as well. I want a good good wallop of solder in there get that up and here we go heat the whole lot up so you can see that's soldered up and uh, we just push this little plate over the top of it snap that in position this is still a bit on the hot side so it's burning my fingers So there we go, snapped in place, soldering done. Nice and easy. And here we are, this is the one I've just uh, soldered up with the XT60. We'll turn the battery on. And there she goes, that one's on. We'll plug that in. This is the other battery I've got laying around, we'll turn it on. And that's on. Plug that into any one, doesn't matter. Pop that in there. Hold down the start. Doing a battery check. Confirming it. And there you go. We are now charging both batteries. As you can see there. So it's working quite nice. And as I said earlier, you can charge up to six batteries using this little device here, nice little board. Very, very handy thing to have. Great for lipos. If you like my videos, please click the subscribe and give it a thumbs up 
If you don't like my videos, give it a thumbs down. Either way, doesn't matter, as long as you leave a comment. All the best, till next time. Take care.